write the following sets in interval notation A the set of x in R such that minus 1 is less than or equal to x which is less than or equal to 6 union the set of a squared plus 1 such that a is in R B the set of x in R such that 2x is less than 5 without the set of y in R such that y squared is equal to 9 C the set of x in R such that x squared is greater than or equal to 1 intersection the set of x in R such that x squared is less than 4 so it says to do in interval notation so perhaps I should just figure out uh, remind myself what interval notation looks like um, interval notation let's see uh, I could be something like this which would be the set um, of um, numbers such that a is less than x is less than or equal to b something like that um, or it could be something like uh, this which would be the set of numbers that are greater than a but or equal to because it's a, a square bracket uh, or it could even be something like this which would be the set of um, x's that are uh, less than b alright that's what um, interval notation looks like so that's what I need to write my my sets as I reckon the easiest way to do it is that each of them has two pieces and write each piece as an interval and then figure out what the union or with or without or the intersection actually comes out to be so let's do a a so let's do the first one the set of x in R such that minus 1 is less than or equal to 6 which is less sorry less than or equal to x which is less than 6 well that's already an interval pretty much it's just everything between minus 1 and 6 so everything between minus 1 and 6 including minus 1 but not including 6 excellent what about the other one the set of a squared plus 1 such that a is in R well this time it doesn't say x in R and then tell me what condition um, lets x into the set it tells me what all the numbers in the set look like they all look like a squared plus 1 for some number a in R so let me just figure out what all the possibilities are for a squared plus 1 so if a is in R that means a squared uh, is greater than or equal to 0 so a squared plus 1 is greater than or equal to 1 and so that means that this set must be equal to everything from 1 upwards since so so a squared plus 1 set of a squared plus 1 such that a is in R is equal to uh, the interval from 1 to infinity since a squared is greater than 0 so a squared plus 1 is greater than or equal to 1 excellent so now I just need to um, do what it says I need to do the union so let's see the set of x in R such that minus 1 is less than or equal to x is less than 6 union the set of a squared plus 1 such that a is in R well that's equal to from minus 1 to 6 that interval union the interval from minus 1 to infinity well, what does the union sign mean it means um, everything in one set or the other set and you can also think of it as the gluing operation you glue the sets together so the easiest way to do this I reckon would be to draw a picture of it so let me draw an interval I'll draw it down here so that there's room to write the answer in so here's the number line and the numbers I've got involved are minus 1 and 1 
and 6 doesn't have to be drawn to scale the numbers just have to be shown on there so the interval from minus 1 to 6 so from minus 1 to 6 um, and we're including minus 1 so we'll draw a closed circle but we're not including 6 so we'll draw an open circle and we want the interval from 1 to infinity so um, we're including the 1 and we're going up to infinity so they're my two sets and I want to glue them together so um, what I want to do is I want to take this set and imagine that I'm putting it on top of this set like that and so the resulting set is from minus 1 to infinity that's everything that's in either one of them so let me draw the intersection of them the intersection would be from minus 1 to infinity so this would be equal to the interval from minus 1 to infinity so we've written the first one in interval notation let's do the next one b so uh, the set of x in R such that 2x is less than 5 let's do that one first the set of x in R such that 2x is less than 5 uh, well let's see we could rearrange this uh, inequality the set of x in R such that x is less than 5 on 2 and that's easy to rise an interval it's everything less than 5 on 2 so that would be from minus infinity up to 5 on 2 but not including 5 on 2 because it's a strictly less than not a less than or equal to what's the other bit of the set y the set of y in R such that y squared is equal to 9 okay so the set of y in R such that y squared is equal to 9 all right well I can solve that equation too so that would be the set of y in R such that y is equal to plus or minus 3 and I don't know if I can write that as an interval but I can write it as just an ordinary set and list the numbers that are in it so I've got 3 and minus 3 they're the numbers that are in that set it's only got two numbers in it whereas the interval over here has got infinitely many numbers in it so now I need to put them together so the set I really am interested in is this one the set of x in R such that 2x is less than 5 without the set of y in R such that y squared is equal to 9 and that's equal to the interval from minus infinity to 5 on 2 without 3 minus 3 well again in order to figure out the without I think I'll draw a picture so there's my number line the numbers involved are minus 3 and 3 and 5 on 2 which is 2 and a half so it's somewhere in between okay so the interval from minus infinity to 5 on 2 would be minus infinity up to 5 on 2 but 5 on 2 is not included and then the set that's got 3 and minus 3 in it so that would just be 3 and minus 3 I'll just put a dotted line here to tell me that they're part of the same set though none of the numbers between them are actually included okay and now I need to do without I need to do this bottom set here without the top set so everything in the bottom set that's not in the top one so it's kind of like except as well everything in here except the things in there so here's the bottom set but I'm not allowed to have I'm not allowed to have minus 3 so I have to cross that bit out and put an open circle there and I'm not allowed to have 3 but it's not in the bottom set anyway so that'll do okay so I need to write this in interval notation so let's see this bit here is from minus infinity up to minus 3 like that and this bit here 
is from minus 3 up to 5 on 2. And there's a gap in between them, so I can't do any better with my gluing them together, so I just leave a union sign in between them. Alright, so now for the next one. C. Alright, so I want the set of x in R such that x squared is greater than 1. Alright, well I guess if x was positive that would, I could just square root both sides and that would be x is greater than 1. But if x was negative, um, that would be a bit trickier. Maybe a bit easier if I drew a picture. What if I drew a picture of um, y equals x squared? So y equals x squared. So if I drew a picture of y equals x squared, that would look like this. And I want to know where y is greater than 1. So there's 1. And so that would happen when x is 1 and when x is minus 1. So x squared is greater than 1 would be when would be here like that that's when x is greater than 1 okay so x is greater than 1 uh, x squared is greater than 1 would happen like this so that would be the set of x in R such that x is greater than 1 or x is less than minus 1 and I just drew that set, that's uh, the, these two intervals from minus infinity to minus 1, that's the x is less than minus 1, and from 1 to infinity, that's the x is greater than 1. Alright, what about the next set? Okay, so we want x in R such that x squared is less than 4. Alright, well I suppose by the same reasoning as before that would be the set of x in R such that x is less than 2 or x is greater than minus 2. But I'll just check by drawing a picture again there's y equals x squared, there's 4, and that would happen here and here. And I want less than 4, so that would be the bit in between here. Okay. Radio. So, um, okay. So that would actually be, it's not or at all, it has to be both. It has to be between them or it's not going to work. So it's not or, it's actually and. And in there. Oh, sorry. And. It has to be both of those because it's a bit in between. So from my picture, it's from minus 2 to 2. Like that. So the set I'm really interested in is this one. So x in R such that x squared is greater than 1. Intersection, the set of x in R such that x squared is less than 4 and that would be equal to from minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 infinity intersection minus 2 2 so let me draw those sets on a number line 
So we've got minus 2 and 2 and minus 1 and 1. So the first set is from minus infinity to 1. This one here. And the other one is from 1 to infinity, so that's there. And the other one is from minus 2 to 2. So from minus 2 to 2. So they're my two sets. Now intersection, what does intersection mean? That would mean the bit that's in both sets. So everything that's in both. So I don't glue them together. I just look for the bit that's covered by both of the sets. So that would be this bit's in both and this bit's in both. So let's see. This bit, so from here to here. Now should I colour in those circles? No, because minus 2 isn't in the bottom set and minus 1 isn't in the top set, so they don't count as being in both. And from here to here. That's my intersection. All right. So that helped me do my intersection. I can get rid of these now. So my answer is from minus 2 to minus 1. Uh, and the other bit is from 1 to 2. And so I've written my final set in interval notation as well.